Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I record my mouse pointer and keyboard stroke when I record my tutorial. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So before showing you how I record my mouse pointer animation and keyboard shortcut, let me show you first how I record my screen. So to record my screen, I use a software which is called OBS. OBS has some incredible feature if you record any screen or if you're making tutorials, I will recommend you to use this software there is a lot of customization is available when you're recording your screen even when i'm zooming on something sometimes when i'm recording my tutorials you see i'm zooming on some particular spot right i use obvious for that if i press it on my keyboard then it will zoom in to that point suppose i want to show this recycle bin so if i press the shortcut it will zoom in to that point and again i press that key to zoom out i will make a separate tutorial to enable this feature in obvious but today i'm going to show you how you can record this one so when you're clicking it will make a clicking animation and when you're pressing any key on your keyboard it will show the keyboard stroke here on the bottom side of your screen so let me show you which software i'm using i'm currently using a software called sort of mouse track you can use this software if you're using windows on your pc to record this animation and keyboard stroke you can just go here on their website or you can search on google then this website will pop up and you can download this software for windows or android this software is not available for mac so if you're using mac i think it will not work but i believe there are some options for mac as well so let me show you how i set up this sort of mouse track right so if you go here on the general section after installing you can enable which feature you are going to use as i'm not using the zoom feature i haven't enabled this one which is show live zoom right this one so if i enable this one i can then make a shortcut for this one suppose i made a shortcut for show live zoom one so whenever i'm pressing one on my keyboard it will enable this one and when i'm pressing one it will disable this one right suppose i have made mouse click shortcut two right so whenever i'm pressing two it will enable the mouse animation and whenever i'm pressing two it will disable right again disabling and again if i press two it will enable the mouse clicking animation right you can do the same thing for keyboard two I don't use the live zoom option. I just use mouse click and show keyboard stroke, right? But how you can uh, customize this feature? Suppose when you are using this one, which is show mouse click, it will not show the animation by default. You have to go to here, which is mouse click. And from here, you have to customize the animation. Suppose I want to change the animation. So I have to go to here and then I have to change to web. Now, if I click, you can see the animation have been changed i can select another animation this animation have been changed right again i can use this one the animation is different right but i like the circle one which is pretty cool to look and you can also change the color so when the button is pressed suppose you want to change the color you can just select a color that you like suppose i want to change it to this one right so when i'm clicking you can see the red animation is not popping it is showing a teal color animation again if you press the right button you can change the animation for this one too you have to change the color so these are the color options that you can select again you can enable sound option so whenever you are clicking there will be a sound playing i will not use this one and again you can see when i'm changing the position of my mouse pointer there is a round shape going on around the mouse pointer so that the audience can easily see wherever i'm taking the mouse pointer right you can enable this one from this pointer option right if you disable it you can see the rounded shape is not available again if i enable it the shape is available you can change the color of this shape from here suppose you want to use a red color then you can change it from here if you want to use this one you can change it from here you can change the pointer radius from here and again you can change the opacity of the circle from here right now for the keystroke you have to go here and from here you can change several settings suppose you want to change the font of this text right so you can change it from here if you want to change the position of the keystroke you can change it from here suppose i want to change the position i can just 
right here maybe 25 pixel or 250 pixel now you can see the position have been changed so if i want to show this keyboard stroke at the bottom section i have to select here zero so this portion will be available at the bottom section of my screen again i can change the size if i want to have a big sized keyboard stroke i can make it big again i can make it small you can change the color you can change the opacity of this section so there is a pretty good amount of customization available here now whenever i'm pressing f1 button i have set it to zoom in on a point right but you can see it is not showing here because i have enabled filter keystroke from here i have enabled f1 so that when i am pressing f1 it will not show here on the keyboard stroke section right but if i disable it suppose i have removed it now if i press f1 that will be available here so if you're using a keyboard stroke and you don't want to show that keyboard stroke to your viewers then you can filter keystroke from this section so that if you press that button it will not available here on this section again i will just add f1 here now if i press here it will not available here on the keyboard stroke section right there are also some cool feature available here on this sort of mouse track software suppose you want to draw something when you are recording the screen right so if i go here on the general section i can enable show live draw right if i enable it now i can draw whatever i want suppose i want point something or i want to circle on something i can use this feature to draw on my screen if i want to disable it i have to press escape on my keyboard it will be disabled you can set a shortcut for this thing so whenever you want to draw you can press that shortcut key and then you can draw again right again if you want to show a spotlight you can use the spotlight feature suppose i have made a shortcut for this three if i want to show this general section i can press three on my keyboard then i can show this section again from the keyboard stroke you can filter keyboard stroke 3 which is this one just add it okay now if you press 3 it will not show the keyboard stroke on the bottom section again you will have live zoom option if you enable this one suppose i have short set a shortcut as 2 so if i press 2 it will show a zoomed version of that particular section so that is the features that are available on this sort of mouse track software so if you're using windows and if you want to record your screen you can use this software to record the mouse pointer and you can also record the keyboard stroke using this software i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye